Hello everyone, welcome to GPA English Channel, where we will introduce you some vocabulary about mathematics. In the first video, we're going to talk about number sense and measurement. Now let's get started with number sense. So the first vocab is digit. Digit, two so. So a digit is a symbol used to write the number. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number words. Number words. Two viết của số, meaning number expressed in their written form. For example, one, two, three. Cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers. Số đếm. Cardinal numbers mean counting numbers. For example, one, two, three, four, five. Ones. Ones. Ones mean chữ số hàng đơn vị. Once is a group of one number, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Tens. Tens mean chữ số hàng chục. Tens mean a group of tens, for example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Hundreds, chữ số hàng trăm. Hundred is a group of tens of tens. For example, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, and nine hundred. Ascending or descending order. Thứ tự tăng dần hoặc giảm dần. Ascending order is the arrangement of number from smallest to largest. For example, one, two, three, four, five. Descending order is the arrangement of number from the largest to smallest. For example, five, four, three, two, and one. Number line. So in math, a number line can define as a straight line with number distributed equally. Expressions. Expressions. Biểu thức. An expression is a sentence with a minimum of two numbers and at least one math operation. For example, Now let's move on to measurements. So the first vocab is unit. Unit, don't be a standard quantity used to express a physical quantity. For example, a unit for length is kilometers and meters. A unit for mass is gram and kilograms. Length. Length. Độ dài. Length is a measure of how long an object is or the distance between two points. For example, a ruler is 20 centimeters in length. Size. Size. Kích cỡ. Size is how big or small something is. I hope you learned some useful vocabulary this today. Now let's review what you got so far. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.